He's very standoffish until he warms up. Yeah. You see what happens when he eats food, right? And I didn't know he snuck more than five Tootsie Rolls. I've been counting. He's been popping them in his mouth. It's more than five Tootsie Rolls. It's got to be at least ten. So he's probably eating them right now. I don't know what's in the pockets. It's real slick. Trust me. If you wanted to be anything you want, you could ever dream of being, what would it be? Be inside a video game. It's going to be called Racing Around the World. Racing Around the World. It will be... A racing game, you know, be the character who races. It's going to take to New York, but it's going to be all over the globe. So I'm going to go... How we discovered it was uh, something going on is Justin started stumbling when he first started walking um, in the summer of 2010. It was on Father's Day when Justin had a, a bad fall and he couldn't get up after we went to Chelsea Pier bowling. I took him to the hospital and they ran tests. Um, they had misdiagnosed him that day saying that he just had a sprained hip muscle. And I went into his pediatrician. I, t I told him, I said, this is, I don't believe what they're diagnosing him with is accurate. Something is wrong. So he agreed also. So he called a team of neurologists at the Children's Hospital at Montefiore. And they told us to bring Justin in right away. The day we went to the hospital, the team of neurologists, they, they didn't even know what, he, what was going on at the time. So they rushed him and set him up for an MRI, and that's when they seen all these mass tumors, tumors wrapped around the spinal cord. He was diagnosed July 2010 um, with having neurofibromyosis 2, with, uh, associated with a meningioma stage 2 tumor. Um, it gives me tumors in my back to touch to the spine. It gives me pain in my back, pins and needles. It was a day before the surgery when Justin totally couldn't walk anymore. It makes it difficult to walk? Um, yes. Yes. I was paralyzed when I had my three surgeries. I couldn't get my nose from over here. From your waist down? From here to my feet, yeah. Because they didn't go in one time, they had to go in back to back to try to remove the tumors, but the tumor was so stubborn that it was so entangled in the spinal cord that with the two back-to-back -back surgeries within 24 hours, they couldn't get all the tumors out. He still has tumors left inside of him. Even with them performing radiation, he still has residual tumors. And it's to the point where we have to keep those tumors monitored with MRIs because they can explode at any given time. So it's like, you know, he's like a, a walking time bomb. So any little impact can trigger off his tumors. And it's, it's, it's really, as a parent, it's like the hardest thing because there's no prognosis for it. You just, it's a waiting game. And it's like having to just know that something can happen. You just try to stay hopeful and just hope that it just could just go away totally. My favorite thing about me is he thinks he's a superstar, mind you, because he'll tell you he's Googleable. Um, just Google him, you can find him. Well, everything. <laughs> hair. My hair, my looks, my sense of humor, yeah. I can remember when they interviewed Justin in the hospital. One of the foundations came and they chose him to get interviewed. So he was all ready for this interview. He, he was excited about it because he thought he would be on television. So after the interview, we're watching the news and he didn't make the news. And he was like, I did all of that for nothing? Oh my God, they just wasted a lot of my time today. And as a character, he's, he's just overall a character. The, it's like the things that will just come out of his mouth. It's like, I can't believe he would even say something like that. Because it's like a little old man. <laughs> That's why you want her. That's why you like her. Is she sexy? Pretty? Be quiet. Be quiet.
<laughs> Makes you wonder where he gets it from. I guess he gets it from my dad. But I, th I really think he gets it from my dad because he's with my, my parents after school all day. And they go back and forth, like how I would go back and forth. So he's really, you know, he's around nothing but adults. But he is an old soul because he will check a person in a heartbeat, like another kid. Like if a child, if he, he is a child cursing, he'll tell them, you know, you're not supposed to say bad words, you know. And then they'll curse back at him. He said, well, that's why your mother doesn't raise you well. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, you're going to be a sumo wrestler? No. What's your favorite thing to do? I'm not waiting to come to Yeah, and we're like an old couple girl, so. And we always argue back and forth, so. You know, people would think, oh my God, how can they talk to each other like that? He's just a child. <laughs> no, he's an old child. <laughs> so, yeah. How do you help others out? When they, when they need help, when they're in trouble, I help them. But he still stayed strong. He was actually known as, like, one of the biggest advocates for kids in um, the Children's Hospital at Montefiore. They loved him in the child life. And he advocated for a lot of children there. And Justin did. Yes. Wow. He advocated for a lot of kids in Blightsdale. Like a lot of things that he didn't feel they you know, was the children were being treated well. He would actually speak up about it. And he had a strong voice. Look at you with your yellow belt <laughs> right after was this right after surgery? Through his challenges with his disease, it it matured him to know that he has to appreciate life. And he doesn't take anything for granted because he's been in the hospital for so many months. I would defeat this disease by getting him or doing more therapy and um, huh? and praying. And praying. I just just want Justin to know that no matter what, just to hold on to his strength and his courage and his faith. And he'll be able to conquer every and anything that comes his way. A warm person, full of joy, and that's that's Justin all the way. He's definitely the person that I'm learning from. He's actually the one that I'm looking up to.